When we enter a Betfair market, we always need to decide whether to take the odds that are on offer or try to lay at smaller odds or try to hit at bigger odds. There is a way of working out uh, whether the odds may be going up or, or going down and also once you've offered to bet or offered to lay, certainly in a big market like this where there's a lot of money about, you can actually check whereabouts in the Betfair queue you are. All you need to do is use these, the Betfair graphs here. We've got the draw up here for this game. And you can see there's a lot of money waiting, 21,000 waiting to be bet. And 10,000 on the lay side. And you can see what's already matched there. So by, by using these figures here, the, the, the amount waiting and the amount already matched, and updating your figures, you can work out uh, which way the odds may be moving. And also, if you've got your bet in the queue waiting, whereabouts in the Betfair queue you are. And you can see when you're about to get matched. OK, so let's have a look at a spreadsheet for that. Here we are in the spreadsheet. I've put the names of the two teams in column A and the draw. And the, I've put the current odds in for each of the teams and the draw. And this column here in column C, that is the amount waiting to be bet and that is the amount waiting to be laid and that is the amount already matched up on the bet side and already matched up on the lay side. Now once once all of that gets matched up the matched figure will equal 416. That will be, that, will be that amount already matched plus twice that amount because it will need to get bet and get laid so that figure will then equal 416 so if they so if we put the currently traded amount in as, as 416 the spreadsheet will show us now that there's and then in the what's still left to match column is zero and 368 has been matched up which is twice 184 so that's how the spreadsheet works so all we need to do is enter what is enter the new currently matched figure in there. So if, if it's if it moves up from forty eight to fifty pounds matched up, we'll see that two pounds has been matched and still left to be matched is three hundred and sixty six, which is twice the amount that is left to be matched. Okay, so we can keep updating that currently matched figure and we can see exactly what is happening to that particular set of odds. Now once we update them all we can get a good idea of what which way each of the individual odds may be moving and what is happening in the overall market. Now also if we've if we've offered to bet or offered to lay we can keep an eye on how much is still left to be matched in this column here in column G and we can see how far our bet or our lay is from the front of the Betfair queue so we can see what's happening to our bet or our lay OK OK let's put some information into the sheet for this game between Netherlands and France so we'll click on the Netherlands little graph And uh, 37 and 375, so we want the waiting amount for the bet side is 830. And the lay side 2679. And the, the traded amounts 3632. And 3928. And I'll do the same for the other teams. On to France. That's two, two six five six in there. That's, that's waiting to be matched on the bet side, and two nine two six waiting on the lay side, and the matched figures two four eight two four. And fourteen seven seven one. And for the draw, uh, 
that's 23140 waiting to be matched on the bet side and 10804 waiting on the lay side and matched is 30842 on the bet side and 29047 right now we can update the currently traded amounts for each of those and see what's happening to the odds so back up to Netherlands see if there's any change so we're just interested in these figures here now so that's that's standing at 3632 which hasn't changed at all and 3928 that hasn't changed it's very early in the day and this match doesn't kick off till this evening and France is 24824 which I suspect was that number I mistyped 24824 and 14781 so 14781 so there's £10 been matched on that one so you can see how it's what's happening a little bit but not much action in the, these few minutes 30842 that hasn't changed and 29047 no change there so I'll, I'll I'll update these and come back when there's change been a change and we've got something to look at a few minutes have passed and you can see that uh, France here look has got quite a lot more uh, being Put on the lay side than on the bet side but I've just gone in again to update France here and we've now got 25384 there now so if we alter that whoops so 25384 you see it's level, levelling out on, on both sides a bit more now so that early indication might have been a bit misleading and anyway, we'll carry on and see what happens next there's still not a great deal of action at the moment but you can see that um, France are, has got quite a, still got quite a difference going on the lay side now further across on the spreadsheet there's a couple of columns here now this column column J shows the percentage that has been matched of the uh, the weighting amount so there's 20, almost 24 percent of the lay side gone and only 11 percent and then those that is a ratio of um, the percentage of which side has been been traded the most and you see about 30% of the, the trading has been done on the bet side of France and almost 70% on the lay side so these, these give you an indication of uh, which way things might be going as well now that you've got 80% and 20% there but you can see that only very small amounts have gone and here it's pretty level with 66.33 and again not, not very much gone compared to the amounts that uh, are waiting to be traded on the draw of several thousand pounds so the one to be looking at really at the, at the moment are these figures for France that's provided things keep going as they are and uh, there's almost uh, a quarter of that has been traded so far and we'll carry on and see what happens next and it's a few minutes later now and I've just updated again well a couple of times and you can see now that uh, France here is uh, leveling out a little bit with we've now got 37 percent been traded on the bet side against 62 on the lay side so it's levelling out and not, not particularly favouring any either side very strongly still up at the top here Netherlands is looks quite strongly favoured on the bet side um, but uh, there's not a lot of money there so so that could that could go actually let's have a look and see what see what's still against the Netherlands Well, there's still still 500 pounds up there, not 3,000 on the other side. On there, yeah. So wait for some action. 
I've just come in and uh, looked at the Netherlands and you can see the the odds here have changed to 3.65 and 3.7 we had 3.7 and 3.75 so you can see that uh, although it was looking at small amounts that 87% against only 12% being traded on either side uh, could have been significant now it's a while later now maybe 20 minutes or half an hour later and you can see there's been a, a significant dip in the Netherlands odds here we were up here somewhere and uh, just as I was recording um, we got that dip there so now the odds are down at at uh, 340 and 35 whereas we, we were looking at 37 and 375 and the France odds have gone up a bit And so now we're at 238 and 24, whereas we're looking at 228 and 23. So there's been a significant move. As you can see the the uh, jump on the France graph there. I don't know what happened. Maybe maybe there's been some team announcement or something. Who knows? Anyway, you get the idea of a bit of potential at looking at the odds in this way. I realise that uh, the numbers shown in this video so far may be rather small, you might not be able to see them, so we'll just have an, uh, another look at what actually happened here. And uh, so we, we put our figures into the sheet and we got these percentages here, a very high percentage on the bet side of Netherlands of 87% against only 12% on the lay side. And France started off a bit higher than that, but it, uh, towards the end it got to 63% against 36% for the bet side. Now there's a cell here that we can set a percentage in there to alert us when these percentages get above a certain level. I've set it to 200 to do the video so that nothing appeared in these cells here. But if I set it to 80 we should get an indication that uh, that has got above 80% so I'll put 80% in there. And we get a message there telling us that there's a good chance that the odds will may be going down. So it, you could try to bet at the odds of 375, which are the lay odds there. The next highest number there is at 63, so if we just happen to have set that to 60, we should get an indication of that one as well. So there we are, that, that is above 60 and that is above 60. And the indication is that that would be going up. Now I normally set these at, at, at much higher than 60, usually up above 70 and sometimes at 90, so that I don't get too many of these messages. If I set that at 50 for instance, you get messages all over the place, and that for instance is not, um, not a significant difference between 50% and 49%, so it would be better set rather bigger. So. Um, looking back, that is exactly what happened. The, there was a significant move of the Netherlands odds going down and a significant move of the Fran French odds going up. So in this particular case, there was a, a good indication of what might happen to the odds for those two teams. OK, I hope that's reasonably clear and thanks very much for listening and good luck with trading your odds movements.